What are the best places to shop when looking for new PC parts? Let's take a look at this topic. Hey YouTube, what's going on? I'm Danny with Danny's Tech Channel. If you're new to the channel, welcome. If you're coming back, thank you for stopping by again. Today I wanna to talk about PC parts and where to buy them. First thing I wanna do is where you should start and then I wanna tell you about where I look for PC parts. And then finally, I'm gonna give you a little secret. If you're looking for a GPU or a CPU right now from AMD, I wanna give you the best way to be able to find yourself one of these CPUs and GPUs right now. So let's take a look at this. I actually wanna guide you through the process that I do um, when going to build a computer for someone else or a computer for myself. First place I recommend to go is PC Part Picker. This is the easiest to use system and they've got a vast majority of stuff. What PC Part Picker does is it lists the components that you'll need, it determines the compatibility of those components, finds the current best prices, and compares it between all kinds of major vendors. So if you're on their main site here, they have at the top system builder, build guides, complete builds, and browse products. You wanna click on system builder and it's gonna open up a screen like this. You can see in the top corner, it has your estimated wattage zero watts because I haven't added anything. It has the compatibility viewer and then it even gives you a link. So when you're done doing your system build, you can share this link and friends and uh, other PC builders and stuff can kind of give you tips on what you should change in your build. And then at the bottom here is where you'll see your total. So let's go ahead and jump into a CPU real quick just to kind of show you the idea. If you click on the processor itself, like the, the link, you can see right here, it's giving you all the prices from major vendors. You've got Newegg on here, Adorama, b &H Photo, Best Buy, Amazon. The top price is your cheapest price. You can add this to your parts list and all it does is throws it in right there. Just make sure you do your research before buying your parts. And this is one of the best places to do the research on. And it also has completed builds as well from other people. So you can see what they've put together and their cost also. Matching your parts is really tough. So if you wanna combine things together that match well, you can Google things like best CPU and GPU combo. Actually, that's a great idea for a video. Let me write that down real quick. Speaking of websites, let's talk about some of the websites I like to use when I'm shopping for parts. First one up is everybody's favorite, Amazon. Amazon has three important things I wanna tell you about on them. They have good prices usually. Let's look at motherboards. So their motherboard prices are pretty good. This is almost exactly the same price I'm pretty sure that you would pay on Newegg or Best Buy or anything like that. Sometimes they have third-party markups. Looking at an RTX 3070, the first ones that come up here is this Tough Gaming. This is a third-party vendor and you can tell by the side over here, this says you shop mall fast shipping. $1,700 is not what you should be paying for a 3070. Their MSRP was $499, so do not overpay for a 3070 or any graphics card right now because stock and availability is so bad, it's not worth overpaying. The older graphics cards, like the 20 series NVIDIA cards and the 10 series, are selling for their retail prices new. That's two-year-old and five-year-old graphics cards. So like I said, sometimes third-party vendors will overcharge on Amazon and it's tough for people to tell because it looks like it's just, that's what the price is. It's got free shipping and next day delivery and stuff like that. Don't be fooled. Newegg has a really simple to use interface. If you click the three bars on the side here, you scroll down to computer systems or components and you can just drag over into what you want to find. So processors, memory, motherboards, and it's got layouts like Intel AMD. So if you're shopping just for an AMD system, this is the fastest way to do it. They have price fluctuations. Sometimes they cost more than like Amazon. Sometimes they have less, sometimes they're right on. And that'll be your, the best way to find it, like I said, is through PC Part Picker because it's gonna give you every company's prices uh, right from their website. Now you can't buy anything on PC Part Picker. It just puts it into a cart. You have to physically go to those companies' websites, either Newegg, Amazon, whatever, and build your own cart yourself. But you can see the best prices at the time and then go and build those carts on those websites. So it does require a little bit of homework on your part. 
For those of you that don't know what Newegg is, I'm sorry I didn't say it right away, they have absolutely everything on their site. You can buy full computers, you can buy specific components, you can buy networking stuff like Wi-Fi. They have everything dealing with electronics. You can buy video surveillance equipment. So it's really like an all-in-one electronics warehouse online. Okay, I told you I was gonna give you a little secret info on how to get a CPU or GPU right now, and this is it, so pay attention. The best way I have found so far is the new egg shuffle. You may already know about this, but for those of you that don't, this is the best way. If you type in new egg shuffle on Google, it's the first thing that pops up here. It doesn't look like really anything. It says no information is available. You just click that and it'll take you to this page. The new egg shuffle will give you a time frame. This is the one from yesterday and I actually missed it. I can't believe I didn't know it was happening, but it shows when the selection window is happening. It shows you the drawing time and then the buying window. What this is, is the most popular items they have right now, which is GPUs and CPUs from AMD side, they put on the shuffle. I think it's kind of a poor way to do things, but I have had luck with this. So yesterday's had all these 3060s from EVGA, Zotac, Asus, MSI. Uh, I mean, there's a ton of stuff that was on here yesterday. They had 6800 and 6900 XTs and they had 5,900 Xs. So all you do is you go down the list and you check the ones that you want, and then you click this button at the bottom, enter the shuffle. Now, in order to enter the shuffle, you have to have a Newegg account. So it's free to create, but if you don't create the account, you can't enter the shuffle. So the Newegg shuffle is definitely the best way to do it. The second best way that I've seen so far, and I haven't gotten lucky with this yet, but the EVGA Q system, all you do is go to EVGA's website, click on their products and find the product you want. In my case, it's a 3060 12 gigabyte card. And then they're all out of stock. You hit the auto notify over here. When you hit that, you have to enter your first name, last name and email address. You hit submit. Well, you have to say that you're not a robot. You'll hit submit and it will enter you into their queue system. They will send you a little notification email saying, hey, you're entered and then they will notify you when your name pops up in their queue system. It's based on a first come first serve thing. That's the seems to be the second best way to be able to get a hold of cards. The third way kind of encompasses these types of things, but it's Twitch, the streaming service. If you go on Twitch, this site, this guy's page has been the best one that I have seen. It doesn't look like much when it comes to the actual like picture, but his name's Falcadrin. I'll leave a link if you want to get to his Twitch page. It's a basically a bot that will track when, each site, uh, Best Buy, Amazon, all that stuff. And on the right-hand side, it'll pop up when stuff has dropped. But you can read in the comments when, when stuff pops up, if you just sit in here on the site, I know it's kind of monotonous just sitting here letting this run, but it also will notify you with this like alert noise when stuff pops up. So if you don't mind just leaving your computer onto this, you can get alerts and they'll leave links on the side here when stuff pops up. When you're shopping for PC parts, make sure you're prepared and use something like PC Part Picker. That's the m main thing that I recommend to new builders and new buyers of PC parts. And then like I said, PC Part Picker kind of doubles because if you click on individual parts, it'll give you the best price available at the current time from all those main manufacturer sites like Amazon and Newegg. You can order your parts there and then have them shipped directly to you and start to assemble your PC. Congratulations, you are now better prepared to go out and buy those parts for your next custom built computer. And don't forget to keep coming back for more PC related content. As I always say, I'm Danny with Danny's Tech Channel and I'll see you in the next video.